Hey guys, Pit Master here, and I am passionate about keeping you guys safe on the street. Yep. And I go over oodles and oodles of self-defense videos. Some of them are great, some of them suck. I mean, some of them just suck completely, and some of them are pretty good, but there's some points that I wanna make. This is one of them. It's pretty good, but there's some points I have to make, because sometimes, Guys are teaching street fighting techniques to stay safe on the street, but it's like they're training a bunch of tap out guys. You know, like guys, remember the tap out guys used to wear tap out shirts and yeah, yeah. They, they're like, you know, they're, they're young, they athletic fighters. guys. They're wannabe fighters. And that's kind of what this guy caters to, and that's fine. But let me just show you a couple things that maybe you guys aren't thinking about. A street fight is not an MMA fight. A street fight is not a Muay Thai match. There is no referee. There are no rules, okay? So, let me just, with that said, this was a video on multiple attackers, okay? So he says the way to, help, to fight against multiple attackers are grab one guy in a tight clinch and use him as a human shield. Just kind of move him around, throw a couple knees, and, and the guy will just kind of go around with you like this, okay? <laughs> let me just show you, number one. Number one, tie clinch. I'm in a tie clinch. We're in the street. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is grab my knife oh. and start stabbing him oh. in the ribs. Oh. I do not recommend a tie clinch for a street fight, even if there's multiple attackers. What about the knife? You're not gonna see it, you're gonna feel it, right? So, tie clinch, it might hurt. He might even get one knee halfway in but I'll stab him and kill him. That's number one, okay? Number two, this is a street fight. There's no rules. You cannot do this in the UFC. So if you got jumped in the cage and there was a referee and there's like three guys, this might work if you were multiple attacked in the cage. But in the street, check it out. I'm gonna reach right here and take his eye out. That's all you gotta do. You're right there. So if somebody gets you in a tie clinch, all you have to do, his face is right here. Boom, go right for the eye. He's gonna either, he's gonna let go of you and he'll have one eye. Now you only have one eye and you're fighting three guys. <laughs> so it's not a good, it's not a good bet for a, t uh, a street fight. With that said, if you're fighting three guys or two guys and you grab a guy, put him in a tie clinch real quick, knee him, and then push him away and fight this guy, then fight that guy, that might work. But anytime you stay in a prolonged clinch with your hands, with his hands are free to grab eye gouge, grab a knife, grab a gun or whatever, that's never a good option, never. So if you're in a street fight, guys, Clinching should not be an, op an option. Prolonged clinching. A quick body lock, like if I want to come in here, get a quick takedown, okay, that's one thing. But you never, ever want to stay in a clinch and just hold the guy here because he could do all kind of nasty things to your eyes, stabbing you, etc. He could bite your face off. You never want to be in a clinch in a street fight. Grab him, boom, clinch, boom, knee, boom, get away, ba ba ba. That might be okay, but you don't want any prolonged clinching in a street fight, guys, all right? Remember that. Context. Stay safe. Context is everything. That's his favorite new word. Context. Con 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 context. Thanks for coming, guys. Remember, subscribe, like, and share.